Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw shapes onto a panel. So I'll start by creating a new project. And let's name this Shapes. And hit Create. Now inside of the Source folder, we're going to create a new package. Right click, New Package. And let's name this com.company. Okay, now we can right click our package and create two Java classes. So, Java class, send this main and let's create another one. Let's name this panel. So, now inside our main class, let's create a main method so public static void main string args. Okay, now inside here, let's create a new J frame. So, J frame, frame equals new J frame. And let's put in the title of our project. So, let's put in shapes. Okay, now let's set the size of our frame. So, let's do frame dot set size. Let's set this to 600 by 600. And now let's set the location of our J frame. So frame dot set location. And let's do 500 by 250. And now let's set the default close operation. So frame dot set default close operation and inside here let's do j frame dot exit on close so when we close our project it will exit it okay now let's create a content pane so j frame dot set content pane we'll set this to new panel and we're using panel because that's the name of our class here our other class panel so now let's put parentheses. Okay. Now I'll set um, the visibility to true. So frame dot set visible to true. Okay. Now we're done with this. So before we go to panel, let's let's put in another import. So import so Java dot awt. Dot star so it imports all of java.awt. Okay, now let's go to our panel and let's before we do let's copy paste our imports here. So control V and we have our imports. So inside here let's type public void and let's do paint component. Inside here let's put in graphics. G. Okay. Now, before we do anything else, let's extend our panel class to J panel. So, extends J panel. Okay. Now, inside here, we're going to create four shapes. So, let's create our first shape. So, we're going to set the color of it. So, G dot set color. Let's do blue, so color dot blue. Now inside here we can create our shape. So let's do g dot draw oval. Now we could also use fill oval. Fill oval. And the difference is that draw oval will draw the outline of the oval and not fill it in. So fill oval will create an oval and also fill it in. So let's do fill oval. And let's put in um, the side, the X and Y. So let's do 100, 100 for an X and Y. And let's put in our width and height. So if I want to create a circle, 
the width and height need to be the same. So let's do 50 and 50. So this will create a circle. Okay. Now let's create our next shape. So let's do g dot set color. Let's, call it, let's, let's set this to color dot red. Now inside here we'll do g dot draw oval. Now let's put in our dimension. So um, let's do 200 for the x. And for the y, let's keep it 100. And instead of doing 50 and 50, let's do 25 and 50. So this will create an actual oval and not a circle. Okay. Now let's create our other two shapes. So we'll set the color of it. So g dot set color. Let's set this to color dot, let's do green. Okay. Now, in, now we can draw our shape. So g dot draw rect. So this will draw a rectangle. So for our dimensions, let's do 300 for the x. 100 for the y. And then if, if you want to draw a square using this, we need to keep our width and height the same, just like with the circle over here. So let's do 50 and 50. Now let's create our final shape. So g dot set color. And let's set this color to color dot Let's do cyan. Okay. Now inside here, let's put in our final shape. So g dot fill rect. And this will create a rectangle without the outline. So it'll fill it in. So for our dimensions, let's do 400 for the x, 100 for the y. And let's change our width and height to be different from one another. So let's do... 40 and 60. Okay. So now that we have this, let's run our project. Go into our main class. Press run. Now over here we have our four different shapes. So since we did so since we did fill sort of fill oval, this this oval is filled in. And after the other one, we did draw oval, so it only drew the outline of it. And same thing with the rectangle and this rectangle. Okay, thank you for watching.